back to our guest analyst, Oliver Slope, Blue Land Futures in Chicago. Oliver, uh, anything you want to get off your chest when it comes to the livestock prices here? Well, uh, lean hogs, the bright spot, so we can focus on that. Obviously, catching a nice little bit after just getting uh, walloped over the last couple of weeks. I think if we can get out above 80 bucks, that's psychologically significant. We can start to get maybe a little bit more of a recovery rally back to that breakdown point from September 23rd, closer to 85 bucks. At that point, I wouldn't be surprised to see the market consolidate a little bit. So in the near term, we're pr pretty upbeat on lean hogs. Cattle, a little bit different of a story. Live cattle has been mostly sideways trading on that 100-day moving average for eight consecutive sessions. That comes in near 147 and a half today. And feeder cattle continuing to drift lower, marking their about their lowest price since, I believe, June, which coincidentally, as you had mentioned, is the highest price uh, in corn that we've seen since June. So definitely that correlation coming into play here today. If corn continues to rally up towards that gap near 725 to 730, I would expect that to put a little bit more pressure on feeders and potentially retest those uh, summer lows near near 170.85. Right, and we're not going to. Well, we're we're, we're not going to be wanting for any more fireworks because we probably will get some with either PPI, CPI, retail sales, or the big report that we've got in the in the grains. So, uh, I guess it's a bad week to forget your seatbelt, right? I think that would probably be the the thing you don't want to be <laughs> and missing. Your helmet. And your sure, helmet yeah, yeah. and your mouthpiece too. Yeah, I'll throw that in there. All right, really appreciate you being on Oliver Slope, Blue Line Futures coming to us from Chicago.